Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak has been out for around a month now, and we are closing in on August, which will be the month of our first title update for the expansion. This update will be adding Lucent Nagakuga and several other monsters, and this will include rare species, special species, and the Forlorn Arena, which is a returning map from prior Monster Hunters. Capcom recently shared a sneak peek at the new Curious Crafting System, which will be utilising new materials that will be added in the same update. From the looks of the screenshot that we received, it seems that we will be able to add little upgrades to armour pieces, upgrades such as increased defence and increasing the level of a skill that I would assume is already on the armour piece, but we could even potentially just add a skill um, depending on what materials we're using, add any skill in the skill lineup. It's not There's not too much information on this, so we will be finding out as time progresses, and of course when the update drops we can fully dive into how this system works. Capcom may even show how the system works fully in some live stream beforehand. We're not too sure yet, um, but I am excited to find out what this is going to be exactly, as this will add even more build potential to the game, which is insane given the insane builds we already have in the game. But alongside this August update, we will be getting two other updates by the end of this year, which is awesome, with more planned for the following year, so I am excited to see how big and diverse this roster will be by the end of Rise's life cycle. Let me know down below what you guys think of this new crafting mechanic. I hope it's a bit of a grind to get going, so min-maxing armors can be something that we can use to bide our time while we're waiting for the next content drops. Um, but let me know down below how you guys hope it works and just how much of a grind you hope it's going to be. As for the next update, it does say that we will be getting more powered up monsters and this applies for the following winter update as well. And I assume this will mean more anomaly monsters, but it could even possibly mean some frenzied monsters considering Gore has returned. Of course, that is way less likely, but once again, you never know what Capcom are planning until they say something officially. But with that said guys, that does bring us to the end of this short little video. Let me know down below what you guys are hoping for for this next update and I look forward forward to reading all of your comments. Be sure to smash the like button if you did enjoy it, it's extremely appreciated and it helps out the channel a ton. I am trying my best to get back on track with the YouTube grind. I did just finish university so I have been in this little weird, weird middle stage where I'm trying to quickly find a new job that will support me entirely while I'm doing YouTube on the side and um, that's why I have taken a bit of a break or hiatus if you want to call it that um, but I will definitely be pumping out a lot more videos in the near future. And yeah guys, don't forget to join our Discord, links at the top of the description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.